Hey, Trisha. I don't seem to have a face. So, here's the thing. I woke up this morning and, no face. Just gone. One minute I'm dreaming about toast, next thing I know, I look in the mirror, and poof, no eyes, no nose, not even a single cheekbone to work with. Bit unsettling, if I'm honest. Now, most people would panic. Not me. I thought, well, that's inconvenient. I mean, how are you supposed to drink coffee without a mouth? But then, right when I was about to spiral into a full existential crisis, I remembered something, the blanket. Oh, the blanket. It's this lovely woolen thing I picked up at a market, so soft, it's like being hugged by a cloud that's really good at giving hugs. You wrap yourself in it, and suddenly, all of life's little problems seem a bit, smaller. Like, sure, no face, but blanket. I sat down on the couch, wrapped myself up, and thought about it. Could I go out in public like this? Probably not, unless I wore one of those novelty glasses with a fake mustache, but even then, people would eventually catch on. But did I need to go out? Nah. Not really. The blanket's here. It's cozy. I'm cozy. So what if I don't have a face? Faces are overrated. There are so many emotions to deal with, joy, sadness, surprise. With no face, it's just, blank. A clean slate. And in that moment, wrapped in warmth, I realized something profound. Maybe having a face is just extra administration. Like, who needs it? Sure, there's the occasional downside, like not being able to smile at a baby, or, you know, speak. But the blanket doesn't judge. It's always here, always soft. And really, isn't that all you need in life? So, yeah. No face today. But I've got a blanket. Things could be worse.